Eastern time still, so it's like 6.30 or so. I'm gonna go out for a drive and see the Salt Lake. If there's one thing you have to see when you visit Salt Lake City, it's the actual Salt Lake. The Salt Lake National Park and Marina is about a 30 minute drive from downtown. I arrived at the park before the visitor center opened, but expect to pay a $3 parking fee during typical visits. So here we are. Um, I'm at the Marina and National Park. Officially it's open, um, but their visitor center here is open at 8, which is a little over a half hour away. The mountains are gorgeous on that side, and that's the giant chimney I saw when I came here. Wow. There's a lookout point. Oh, helpful information. There are spider webs everywhere, so be alert. <laughs> Lots of spiders. Just in case your orientation needs a little assistance. And there's the lake. So that was really nice. I have no intention of going in the water, but I just wanted to see it and kind of experience it. And it's beautiful. I can see the black rock from here. It's another mile down or so. I don't know if it's accessible, but it's also very beautiful. And the only thing I'm afraid of is that it's gonna be infested with spiders and bugs like this one was. So I'm driving back now. Black Rock is uh, not meant for this vehicle or this time of day, I think. It looks nice from far away, but it's okay. The road gradually gets worse, so I am gonna head back and get some breakfast. So this is my last day in Salt Lake City. My plan is to have lunch somewhere local during work, and then later, squeeze in a visit to the International Peace Gardens before heading to a work social at the Natural History Museum of Utah. So it's lunchtime here in Salt Lake City, and I was strongly suggested a sushi place called Simply Sushi, and that's where I'm headed. Right here at the corner of University and 200 West is Simply Sushi. I can see it now. So apparently you can get endless sushi here all day, every day, with lunch starting at $15 or so, and Apparently the food is actually really good, so we'll see what he what happens. All right. Hi, how are you? Just me. Yeah. The unlimited sushi plan got you a soup or salad and your choice of nigiri or rolls. Sashimi is not included. For my beverage, I asked for green tea, which came with mint and lemongrass infusion. My miso soup was also cold, like it just came out of the refrigerator. The nigiri sort of made up for it, but I would probably not go back. So I made it to the International Peace Gardens. It's already beautiful. Uh, I have a few minutes to take a look around and see what we've got. The International Peace Gardens is located about 15 minutes from downtown on the bank of the Jordan River. It was founded as a citizenship project and offers a collection of international gardens with plants native to various nations. According to its website, the endeavor is evidence that people from many lands can unite in building a monument to peace. I was able to spend about 15 minutes here before heading back to work for my social. 
My final stop on this trip is the Natural History Museum of Utah. The museum contains a number of anthropological and paleontological exhibits, and general admission is just under $15. My favorite exhibit in the museum was, of course, the dinosaurs. It was a great way to end my short business trip in beautiful Salt Lake City. Tomorrow, I head back to New York City. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to us on here and on Instagram. It really helps us a lot. See you next time. Bye.